I think, you know, fundamentally, and I think it's probably one that's, you know, as I said, there's historically I've been in situations where you've got products and sales just uh, button heads all the time and like, trying to pull in different directions that, like, you know, build relationships with, with the people that you're trying to work with. Ultimately, communication is going to get better and, you know, believe it or not, things will get done a lot faster as well um, in yeah. terms of respect. So I'd probably start there. Um, you know, you can always put around you know, foundations, processes, procedures, things like that in order to speed things up and talking around like those communication lines, you know, how are you, you know, completing those feedback loops and all the rest of it. But, you know, fundamentally, I think it's it's generally, you know, sharing ideas between people, you know, generally just discussing and, and putting things out there. That's ultimately where you're going to start to, you know, build those initial relationships where ultimately the rest will lead to. Um, but there is... You know, there needs to be a huge focus on that continuous loop of feedback right from the start. What are you hearing in the market? And, you know, let's face it, we've probably gone through the biggest change of that recently. We know how quickly things can change and it's about adapting and moving into that where ultimately, you know, in terms of where you're talking, David, in terms of, you know, agile um, working and things like that, that's, that's where we do need to be nimble. But, you know, it all starts with that line of communication and, you know, how often are you doing that? How often are you feeding that back? 